Hi, I'm Terrence Tan, creator of the OpenBeam Construction System. And I'm Matthew Wilson, developer for Brainwave Electronics. My name is Johan, and I designed the original Rostock and the Castle. My name is Matt Westerwald, and I'm the founder of the Metrics Open Hardware Lab. This is the Caso Pro. We have built six of these machines in various sizes and configurations. In its final design, this machine uses no 3D printed parts. Every component, down to the belt clamp, will be injection molded or stamped. We have a great history of using injection molded parts and we have a motor that we will be partnering up again with for this project. At OpenBeam, we do not believe in the use of 3D printers for mass-producing 3D printers. 3D printers are great when you are still tweaking a design or when you're building one-off prototypes. But there's nothing that beats mass production when it comes to quality and cost. So we took a slightly different approach. We designed our components to be highly reusable and modular. And we used mass production techniques such as injection molding or metal stamping to bring quality parts to people at a lower price. We have been working very closely with Johan, the creator of the Rostock and Caso, to ensure that the components that we develop for the Caso Pro will be backwards compatible with the Caso as well. Specifically, it is our intention to make the end effector, the ball joints, interchangeable between the Caso and the Caso Pro. These components are the heart of a Delta bot, and at the end of the campaign, we will make these parts available independently on our web store. Because we've designed this machine around the open beam construction system, the entire frame of the robot goes together with a single outer key, which we will include in the kit. We've done a lot of work in the sourcing to make sure that we can deliver a quality printer at a reasonable price. These are linear recirculating ball slides. There are no B groove bearings to play with, no eccentric cams to adjust. They just bolt under the frame and work. The motors are custom built for us with a detachable wiring harness and that allows us to connect the motors to this electronic board without any soldering or wire crimping. And this board, this brainwave board, which was built right here in this room, is what's running this 3D printer now. I would like to extend my thanks to those whose work I've been building upon, the RabRap project and Johan's work on the Doubtabot firmware. OpenBeam is an active contributor back into the open hardware ecosystem. This is the new Proto Laser S at Metrics Create Space Open Hardware Lab. There are less than 100 of these machines in the US, and we'd be pretty sure that this is the first one to be installed in a public access hackerspace. This machine uses a CO2 laser to burn away copper from regular PCB material. The laser beam is actually invisible. The green light that you see right now is copper being vaporized off the board and blown off with an air knife. You're watching the laser run in real time right now. Oh, and one more thing. It will also do multi-layer flex circuits and rigid flex circuits as well. We believe that this, combined with a pick-and-place machine, changes how people think about doing electronics prototypes. We will be donating a portion of our proceeds to support growing this lab. Thanks for watching and thanks for supporting open source hardware.